Hello and welcome to the Philippines. I'm um, going to take a walk across Marcelo Fernand, Fernand Bridge. And it is the, uh, the newer four-lane bridge that goes from Mandawi City, Cebu City metropolitan area over to Mactan Island, Lapu Lapu over there. And there is an older two-lane bridge not very far from here. And I've walked across that a number of times. Uh, today I actually walked about, not today, a couple days ago, I walked about 14 kilometers uh, from Cebu City over here and across the bridge, and, which is about eight and a half miles. So my feet are still a little sore today. It was a nice walk. I, I made another a, a couple of rest stops along the way. But it was a nice day for a walk. Uh, part of the day clouded up a little bit, so it wasn't extremely hot. I I carried my umbrella with me, so when the sun was beating down a few times, I, I whipped out my old umbrella and got a little shade there. Anyway, there is a new third bridge going across on the south end of what's called South Road Properties over to the south end of uh, Mactan Island, which is Cordova. And there is a fourth bridge in the planning stages for the north end. And they are debating uh, where that is going to land. Uh, I think they've picked out the, the starting point on Cebu Island, uh, but there's some debate exactly where it will land, where it will come in to the, the road system over on Mactan Island. During normal times, uh, and this is the road that goes to uh, where there are many factories over on Mactan Island. Uh, the, they've got MEPS 1, MEPS 2, which are industrial parks. A number of large uh, companies, electronics companies, as a matter of fact, over there, including Timex is over there. And uh, anyway, during normal times, now, now these are fish farms, huge fish farms over here. I believe that's what they are. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, you'll find that various places uh, in, in the Philippines. A lot of fish farms, a lot of fish in the seas and the oceans. Got Mactan Channel here that goes between Mactan Island and uh, the island of Cebu, Long Island of Cebu. And Mactan Island is where the International uh, Airport is. And under, under normal times, normal economic times, unlike the present crisis that we remain in, uh, I'm guessing there's 10 times this amount of traffic going back and forth across the bridge. Just my estimate. And uh, like any city during rush hours, morning rush hour, afternoon rush hour, uh, if, if, if you come across here during normal times, during rush hour, uh, there was one time it took me an hour to cross the bridge in a taxi. And I could have walked across it uh, faster than that, but just for some reason traffic was not moving. Normally it is not uh, that, on average, I hate the word normal, on average times, I don't think, uh, even during busy times, it would take that long, but there was, apparently was an accident or something, construction going on. And also during normal times, before the crisis, uh, there would be a lot more ferry traffic uh, coming into, uh, into Mactan Channel, into the various piers, Pier 1, uh, Pier 3, Pier 2 are popular. Pier 1 I've used 95% of the time if I'm taking a ferry someplace. I have landed, uh, taken off from Pier 3 once, once or twice I guess. But the different, the different ferry companies use the uh, different, use the different piers and uh, Got a lot of a lot of honks, a lot of waves from Filipinos as um, they see my camera out there and they 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 wave hello Joe. And uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see them 
little fishing, a little, little bonka boat down there. And he is fishing, I presume. Something I hope to uh, experience in the very near future. I've been, I've been uh, asking around and I think I've got something set up for the, for the future, the coming week or two or three. So we'll see how all that pans out to, to go out fishing. Might end up being fishing from shore, but we'll see. I'm maybe getting a, uh, a boat to go out a little bit further. One nice thing about these bridges is that they have walkways on either side. And uh, there's quite a number of quite a number of Filipinos who walk rather than, or bicycle, uh, rather than uh, paying any, any type of fare to go across just because it saves them that 11 or 11 pesos or more. Not sure. A lot of, lot of the jeepneys before this price, it used to be, I believe, generally 8 pesos. Now I think they're generally about 11 pesos in the Cebu city metropolitan area. Now if you're taking a longer trip in those areas I think it, the price goes up a little bit. But still very very reasonable. There there was a ferry. There was a ferry service and I don't know if it's running anymore up this direction. That is a uh, uh, kind of a, uh, I guess you call it squatter area. They've got uh, They've got their houses up on uh, up on wood uh, posts going down into the water and down in that area and, and just below the bridge is a bit of a park area a park or you'll you'll see Filipinos uh, gathering there more in the evenings to relax further down that way is the Cebu Yacht Club and that's where I was headed for today go, gonna go down there and and have lunch and check that out. There are a number of restaurants down in that area open to the public. Indian restaurant that I've done a video at uh, called Spice and uh, three or four other one, one uh, the, the crab something or other boiled crab or something like that. Uh, the restaurant I ate that uh, had beef tips and wasn't bad. And uh, anyway, there are options. It's kind of hidden away, and, and un unless you knew it was there, you wouldn't know it was there. So worth a trip down there if you're looking for uh, for a good meal. But the liquor ban is also off, so all the bars can serve liquor now, alcohol. There are a few places that will. They ask you for a vaccination card, or they won't allow you to. Uh, they 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 discriminate against those who have had who recovered from the virus and have natural uh, natural immunity. They discriminate against those who might have a negative test. And they will only serve, they discriminate and only serve those who are vaccinated. And you know, uh, discrimination goes both ways. So basically those, those companies that uh, discriminate uh, will be discriminated against in return oftentimes. Uh, people find, people find other places, once you, once a restaurant, bar, something loses a customer, uh, and they, they go find some other place that is, welcomes them. Once a, once a business loses a customer, it's pretty diff diff difficult to get them back. Uh, I, met, uh, I met an expat uh, the other day, and he was saying such and such place, and he said, I'll never go back there again, never. And he had been a regular customer, but because he wasn't vaccinated, they said, no, we're not gonna serve you anymore. And anyway, that's, that's the way that goes. Uh, I remember about a month ago, I read an article about restaurants in New York City, uh, which started 
being forced to enforce a vaccine only. And they, they, the guy stated, we've lost 60% of our business because the customers who were coming here who had a negative test or who, whatever, they were open to, to customers, vaxxed or not, uh, who had uh, may well have had had the virus and recovered and had natural immunity. Uh, anyway, they by by discriminating against a very large part of the population and customer base, they have lost that amount of business. And uh, wonderful politicians with good intentions sometimes. Uh, the, the unintended consequences come back and don't, don't bite the politicians, do they? They, they damage the, the businesses, the other people. Anyway, uh, a nice walk, a nice enjoyable walk, nice, nice day. Uh, later in the day, there was a little bit of lightning off in the distance. Looked like it was gonna be rain, but uh, never did see any rain. And then this goes down, down the stairs, there's some businesses, a uh, number of businesses along the side down here, and then you go up a little bit, and then there's the main road going, uh, going around the island, basically. And turn, I forget what way, which way, maybe it's the other way, the yacht club was the, back the other direction. Not absolutely positive. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, get out and enjoy uh, the air, the sun, get some of that vitamin D, and I'll see you next time.